Welcome back everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be showing you some new plants that I've got for my bathroom. So I'm just going to take you around and quickly show you the plants that I've already got in the bathroom and then of course show you my new beauties that I picked up this week. I'll put all the names of the plants on the screen for you. This guy has started trailing now, which is nice. I might end up hanging him somewhere. So over in the corner we've got my Anthurium Ellipticum. and my golden pothos, which is doing really well. They're not fussy though, are they? So up in the corner here we have one of my new plants, which is a variegated ivy. It's really pretty. Looks really lovely hanging in the corner there. If you're wondering what that crackling noise is, it's my crackling candle. It sounds like a wood fire burning, it's awesome. So next up we have the Calathea Flame Star. I think this will be a really good spot for it because it's going to be getting lots of humidity from the bath. I do take a bath every day, so it definitely won't be lacking in humidity in this room. So hopefully no crispy tips. And also it's not too bright where it's sat here. This is a south facing window, but it's only quite bright on the window or straight in front of the window. So hopefully it should be all right here. I love the markings on this one, it's really stunning. Looks like a really nice, healthy plant. And then here we have the beautiful Begonia Maculata YTI. The leaves are massive on this one. I'll see how this one does here because it might not be quite enough light for it here. It'll definitely be getting the humidity, but I could move it up onto the windowsill or I might end up putting it in the kitchen, but I'll see how it does. It might be okay. So here on the south facing window, we have a beautiful Trade Scantia Nanook. Look how gorgeous it is. It's so vibrant, it's amazing. The leaves are huge. 
They are purple on the undersides. The tops feel quite smooth and then underneath they feel slightly fuzzy. I might actually take this one off the window and just bring it over here so you can see it a bit better. Does anyone else have one of these? And if so, do you find it easy to care for? And has yours started trailing? Because I'm assuming it's gonna be a really awesome trailing plant. So this particular Tradescantia can be kept in direct sun or indirect sunlight. I'm pretty sure it would prefer a little bit of sun. This little guy has been flowering all summer, literally months, and it's still producing flower buds. He looks a little bit funny now because he keeps bending towards the sun. I keep turning him round every few days. But when I first got this one last summer, it was literally about this high, it was tiny. Just got my little agave there in the corner. And then last but not least, I've got these beautiful string of pearls. They're lovely and full on the top. I did lose a few pearls when I was transferring them into this hanger that I made. But not too many. These can be a bit tricky to care for. This looks really healthy at the moment, lovely shiny plump pearls. Once they start to kind of slightly shrivel or feel not as firm, that means they need watering. Apparently they prefer being watered from the bottom, although in this particular pot I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, so I'll just have to see how it goes. Wish me luck. I really love them. Thank you.